talking about the presentation outline the first one is we introduce every member of the group the second is location of server room and their justification the third is location of router and switches and their justification the fourth is the location of wireless access point and their justification the fifth is the cabling and type of cable that used at each connection the sixth is indication of part of the network that need triple redundancy and their justification and the last one is price of the proposed computer network solution complete with detailed cost and justification of each device's purpose Hi, I am Noor Arida Binti Zandri, metric number 050387. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Noor Fakira Binti Mama Nawawi and my metric number is 050454. Hi, my name is Fatina Tu Fatiha Binti Mama Idris with metric number 054659 from KRK third semester. Assalamualaikum and hi guys, my name is Noor Munira Binti Zahari. My matrix number is 050381. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Fatih Atika Binti Zainal Amidin. My matrix number is 050284. I will be talking about the server room location and the justification. As we can see on the screen, the map that I have circled one is the server room location. Why? Because the room that available, that room that available is the only one with a little bit bigger than other room that is available. So the size of the room is actually depends on the kilowatt load of the installment is the installed equipment, but it is usually to fifty kilowatt to hundred kilowatt per square foot range. As we all know, the hospital needs larger what to run the network as they need it 24 7 to run all the equipments and the network as they all the equipment eh, all the documentation needed to be online besides the room designed to optimize cooling and access the next question asks about the location of routers and switches in the floor firstly i will suggest to provide two routers and two switches for the entire floor also, it is better to have an extra router and switch to act as backup. The location of the routers should be in an open area. I prefer to place them in the hallways that is where the waiting room, wards and most offices lo located. It could get maximum coverage there, but the location could change depending on the connection. The second router would be best placed at the open area at the right side of the building. For switches, I prefer each switch to be placed in a room or area near the office, operation theater and radiology lab. It is mainly because these rooms are always requires a lot of machine usage. The switches are put in a lock box or room in an any customized chest. That's all from me, thank you. So today, I will share about the location of wireless access points which is AP and their justifications. Okay, many hospitals are now provided with a wireless local area network which is LAN as part of infrastructure. The wireless LAN in the hospital is usually utilized for communications, medical data transmission and patient monitoring. A wireless LAN can also be used as a tracking system as APs are installed at every corner of the hospital for a constant connection. APs should not be installed near electromagnetic interference because it can quickly wreck a Wi-Fi signal. APs were located in every patient's room that covered the entire area of the ward. Each AP had a unique media access control MAC address that distinguished the access point from other points. Access point must be placed in strategic location in order to provide maximum coverage. For each 1,600 square feet need one AP. For L-shaped room or 3,600 square feet need to use two access points. If internal wall material is brick, 
semen or cinder blocks, the number of APs needed will be increased. That's all from me. Next, I will pass to Fatinatu to explain more about the cable. Thank you. Thank you, Munira. Next, I will continue talking about the cabling. We just optic fiber of the cable because less energy. It means less generated heat. Therefore, fiber optic cable don't need cooling system to spend excess of energy to cool down the data and keep it at an appropriate temperature. This means that less air conditioning tools are needed, saving equipment and have more flow space as well. Moreover, use an internet cable to connect the access point to the router. The cable should be inserted into a LAN port on the router and into the main internet port on the access point. It is also up to 4700 MHz. The conclusion is, this is the best option for heavy internet users, especially for hospital as they are need. The online system can be accessed for every doctor and nurses for 24 hours seven. Besides, all the communication will be stored online. That's all from me. Next, I'll pass to Fakira. I will answer for the question indication of part of the network that need triple redundancy and their certification. Level of redundancy should be determined for the primary and backup network based on the identification of critical network component, impact analysis, and established recovery objectives. There should be consideration for a redundancy of network device such as switches, routers, gateway, and others. There should be also consideration given to redundant components such as power supplies, CPUs, and secret card for the network switches and routers. Switches and routers are quite reliable, but they do sometimes fail. Hospital is an organization with more critical need, so it must have redundant equipment up and running in the network. Consideration must be given to the redundancy and diversity of one need in conjunction with automated failover. Redundancy can be achieved by providing multiple links and multiple types of links for a single site and between multiple sites. Diversity of links can be accomplished either by link router diversity, two or more link travel different routes to the location, or through carrier diversity. Multiple carriers are used to provide internet access diversity and redundancy to hospitals that rely heavily on internet connectivity. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you. Okay, thank you to Fakira. For my question is about price of the proposed computer network solution complete with detailed cost and justification of each device's proposed. Okay, network project proposal justification is uh, the hospital network has potential, it adds growth and knowledge. The hospital network is important to use and access internet connection easily in healthcare wireless network. This network also provides many others benefit as well like as uh, sharing a file between your computers in your department uh, network sharing a media file sharing a folders between your computers in your office wireless network today typical hospital environment often contain of these internet ready devices okay in the future there will be even more including embedded system like sensor and actuator that are also accessible via internet technology example tcp ip http web service and etc okay this is the detailed design uh, documentation okay firstly we use cisco srw20848 uh, which is 48 uh, port gigabit for switch the price is uh, 3000 and we use in 3 units. Total for switch is 9000. Second is C892FSPK9 Cisco router 890 series. Total for router is 7500. The price is 2500 used in 3 units. Then the third is C85 cable in 1000 feet. The price is 40 ringgit and the quantity is 5. Total for C85 cable is 200. The fourth product is Cisco Aeronet 1830 series SS point. 
the price is 1,500 US in 45 units. Total for access point is 67,500. Uh, the fifth product in use is RG45 plugs that uh, that have 50 in a pack. The price per unit is 202. Quantity in use is 10. The total of RG45 is 2020. For the sixth product is C86 Ethernet cable network cable line. Price per unit is 50 ringgit. Quantity unit for cable is 10 and the total is 150. The last product in use is Compact Desktop Pro ENP3 per 600. The unit per un uh, the price per unit is 2000 and the quantity in use is 20. The total for desktop is 40000. Total for all product is 126,317 ringgits. Okay, that's all.